Hello friends! Today we are going to do one of my favorite drinks, Manhattan. But then we're gonna have little twist to it because we're gonna make it with savory grape So what that means is we're gonna add a little twist to it. So we're gonna use Larceny bourbon. You're welcome to use bourbon or rye because I know some do like to use rye for Manhattan. So it's up to you. But then this month we have a special going on with Larceny. And then we also have Amaro special, Easy Amaro Grand Reserva. That's the twist. So instead of vermouth, we're gonna use Amaro. So let's make our cocktail and then see if you're gonna like it or not. So, so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna have our rock glass. We are going to use our rock glass. I added ice cube to keep the glass cold. I also filled my shaker with ice. So and then our recipe. Here we go. Two parts of Larceny bourbon. We are going to add in right in our shaker. And then we are going to add one part of Easy Grand Reserva Amaro. So this twist is going to be delicious. It's different than any other, which you know, difference between old fashioned and then the Manhattan is actually the sugar cubes. If you want to muddle some sugar cubes with a um, little tiny bit water or um, bitters, you muddle that and then after that you add your basically bourbon or rye, little orange bitter or uh, Angostura bitter so that makes uh, of course old-fashioned but um, basically Manhattan is a little different because instead of we are using Amaro but then instead of sugar cubes you do the vermouth which is a sweet vermouth is a rosso so now we added that and then I'm gonna add little separate actually ingredients here is the black walnut bitters so this is our twist so we're gonna do one two and then three dash that's all you need you know basically that's basically gonna make our coffee so you stir it stir it really well because it needs a stirring so maybe take 10 to 15 seconds make sure your bitter and then your bourbon amaro all blend in here we go let's dump this ice Our cocktail is now ready. And then lastly, we're gonna garnish it with Fabri little cherries. So you can add it in, you can keep it on the side, but then if you add it in, this little nice maraschino liqueur actually adds a little twist to it. So you are welcome to add it in, just let it twist. And then here we go, cheers to you all.